Project Lore, 10 Days of Night. So first I'm gonna go back to my boy, Noth, and I'm gonna finish this quest here. So I'm giving, giving him the Empty Cauldron, Iron Chain, and the 10 Crusader Skulls. And he is going to give me, hey -oh, the Plague Bringer's Girdle, which is a pretty darn good waste application. So we'll go ahead and take that. And now he is building the cauldron. All right, he's got his cauldron. Good for you, Noth. And he's now offering me a new quest, Noth's Special Brew. So place the pile of cauldron skulls inside the plague cauldron, and that will get me the special brew. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we are done with that. We'll complete that quest. So we now have been given Noth's spe special brew, which restores 1,500 to 2,500 health and 50 runic power. So this is a pretty good Death Knight uh, little pot here. And this is a repeatable quest. So as long as you get those skulls, you can get more of this stuff. And in fact, I have 27 of them, so why don't I get some more? Because it only costs 20 skulls uh, per quest. So I'll get five more of those. All right, so now I'm loaded up with 10 of those. So now I'm gonna go back to Keliseth and turn in my other two quests. And folks, we are 56 now and almost three quarters of the way done with that to 57. All right, so nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Going ahead and bringing that back to Prince Keliseth. We're gonna go ahead and complete that quest. Obviously, he's gonna give me something else. Uh, and the quest he's giving me is how to win friends and influence enemies. Kinda cool. Uh, the quest objective is C Prince Keliseth uh, has ordered me to discover the truth about the Crimson Dawn. Uh, remove Keliseth's persuaders from the, uh, the ornately jeweled box and use them to persuade the Scarlet Crusade into talking. Interesting. And he'll give me a very nice ring if I do that properly. So let me accept that quest. And now let me go over to Baron Rivendare and finish the quest Lambs to the Slaughter. And he's going to give me the Greaves of the Slaughter, which are plate feet, uh, which will increase my armor by 499. 20 strength, 16 stamina, and increased critical strike by 15. So these are nice, a lot of nice upgrades here that we're getting. So, how to win friends and influence enemies. Uh, in my travels across this world, I have made several dis interesting discoveries. For instance, did you know that with the proper amount of encouragement, one can extract all the truths that a man dares hide? As luck would have it, I happen to have some encouragement on hand. He pulls out something out of his ornately jeweled box. These are my, my persuaders. Equip them and take, the, take to the field. This is what he's saying to me now. Equip them and take them to the field, Death Knight. Apply the pointy ends to the soldier of the new Avalon. Discover the truth about this Crimson Dawn. And then return to him. So let's do that. So let me grab this box that he's given me. Okay, so these are weapons. So I guess I have to equip these while I fight, which should be kind of fun. All right, let's get outside. And I'm now going to uh, beat up on some uh, crimson or Scarlet Crusaders. Here we go, Scarlet Preacher. So I picked up something from this dude but it is not what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm trying something different here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start attacking these guys with these blades of truth, and they will reveal the truth to me. So I'm not gonna use any special techniques or tactics, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack them. And th that guy didn't seem to wanna give me the information, so he died for no reason. There's a Scarlet Crusader, here we go, here we go. You want to talk, dude? You can, we can talk about it. Just reveal the secret. <sighs> he turned the other cheek. Okay, so this quest is a little, I'm a little confused. I'm working it out. 
but um, I think it's going to take a moment because I'm going to need to just kill a bunch of these guys using these pokers, essentially, to get them to reveal the info. i got to find a weak one, a weak-willed one. One that has, like, children and a family who wants to go home for the night. She keeps saying, you'll have to kill me, monster. I'll tell you nothing. Oh, hold on, folks. She just stopped. She said, I'll tell you everything. Please stop. Big Wang says, that's me, lies. The pain you're about to endure will, will be talked about for years to come. The Scarlet Crusader says, no, please. It was a woman, by the way, so let me go into this again. No, please. There is one more thing that I forgot to mention. A courier comes soon from Hearthglen. It. And then I murdered her, so she's dead. But she gave me some information, that information being there's some sort of courier that I'm going to have to wax or tax, however you like to describe it. So I'm going to go back to the crypt and turn this quest in. Chilling with the guardians. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and finalize how to win friends and influence enemies. Uh, the reward is Kelisa's Signet Ring, which is kind of nice. Also, I'm going to get 85 silver and two more bonus talent points. So, as I'm all going, I'm also realizing I got a lot of talents to spare right now. I have 13 that I can spend. So now, we're at Prince Keliseth for our next quest, Behind Scarlet Lines. Um, what I need to do for this quest is report to Orbaz Bloodbane at the Scarlet Tavern in New Avalon. So let's get to it. Get on my death charger. Let's go. To the tavern. So we're gonna roll all the way to the back of New Avalon. That's where this tavern is gonna be. And there's a dude inside that I need to talk to. And that person is Orbaz Bloodbane. The Path of the Righteous Crusader. Uh, so I'm going to read this one. We haven't gotten a damn clue about where or, or when or where this courier is supposed to show up. None of these humans has an answer either. Orbaz points to the scarlet corpse strewn across the floor. I did manage to beat something awful, something useful and awful out of the last one. Inside Scarlet Hold, they keep a schedule of all patrol routes, and I want you to break into the hold and steal the schedule. The hold is the largest building in New Avalon, northeast of here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the, the schedule. Sweet. And then to his right, there is another dude by the name of uh, Thessarian. He's got a quest called Brothers in Death. Um, and he wants me to search for uh, Coltira Deathweaver in the Scarlet Hold. So I'm going to be going into the Scarlet Hold for two things here. For the list and for my boy. So let's get to it. So Scarlet Hold is the massive structure um, that will be northeast of the inn. And I will mount up and head there now. You know what? I'm going to pick up one of these dudes. I'm going to go ahead and raise the dead here. Get a little help. All right. So yeah, your little uh, risen ghouls are kind of nice. They do some serious damage. Definitely help out. Makes life a lot easier. So in order to get to Coltira uh, 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 Deathweaver, he's actually sitting in the basement. So um, you'll want to go downstairs once you get into the hold, and you'll be able to pick him up there. Our master's will be done. Now he's offering a quest, Brothers in Death. And he's saying, you were foolish to come in after me. I failed. I should have been left for dead. Now two of us might be killed. We are Death Knights of the Scourge. This flies in the face of the Dark Brotherhood's covenants. And then... Thessarians, you blasted fools, is what he says. But we're going to go ahead and complete that quest, which leveled me. And now there's a big battle going on in here, which I need to be a part of. 
Okay. Just... So he's saying now that he's badly injured and that he needs us to help him get out. He's giving me a quest called Bloody Breakout. Um, and what he's saying is he wants me to slay the High Inquisitor and his cronies, tear off his head and return with it to uh, Thessarian. Vengeance will soothe, soothe his uh, savage soul. One more thing, Big Wang. If you do manage to survive and make it back to Thessarian, tell him that they're executing prisoners at the chapel. Perhaps he'll send you there to play, a more hero, to play the hero once more. To slay High Inquisitor Val Valroth and take Valroth's head to Thessarian at the Scarlet Tavern in New Avalon. All right, here we go. Oh, so Valroth's dead. He, for some reason, was rolled up in there and was part of that attack and died. So we're good. We got that done. So now all we need to do is go ahead and get the New Avalon patrol schedule, which I'm going to kind of assume is upstairs. There it is. I knew it, dude. See, I've played this game before. I'm into this. So if you want to get the uh, patrol schedule, you want to go upstairs in the Scarlet Hold into like the main banquet area. And on the main banquet table, there is a blue book, and that's the uh, patrol schedule. So we're going to have to take this back to Thessarian. Never said it was going to be easy, guys. Never said it was going to be easy. This is the life of leveling. Quest after quest after quest. What a joy. So I'm now riding back to the inn where I can drop off all this business. Uh, yeah, that just happened. Too many DCs. And that's not disconnects, folks. That is not disconnects. So I'm returning uh, to Thulsarian with Valroth's head. Uh, and he's going to give me a sweet ass uh, chest piece, the Serenite War Plate. That's going to be a huge increase. 726 armor, 29 strength, 24 stamina. Increase your parry rating by 15. Go ahead and put that on. And I will turn around to Orbaz and we'll turn in his quest, the Path Speaking of the Righteous of Crusader. Uh, and he's going to give me a set of hands. All right, cool. So Bloodbane's Gauntlets of Command, 454 armor, four, uh, 17 strength, 15 agility, and 22 stamina. That was very kind of him. That was very nice of him to give me those, I have to say. 